All right, so today, President Biden has signed for the TikTok ban bill. Parent company ByteDance must divest TikTok within nine months or face a ban. TikTok is over party. Hold on. Hold on. Damn, your first time chat is... That being your first time chat is crazy hate. Jeez. Um, and this is a message from their CEO. All right, this is a message from their CEO. Hi, everyone. A show here. As you may have heard, Congress passed a bill that the president signed into law that is designed to ban TikTok in the United States. That will take TikTok away from you and 170 million Americans who find community What's and good, Kenny, connection good, on our platform. Make no mistake, this is a ban. A ban on TikTok and a ban on you and your voice. Politicians may say otherwise, but don't get confused. Many who sponsored the bill admit a TikTok ban is their ultimate goal. It's obviously a disappointing moment, but it does not need to be a defining one. It's actually ironic because the freedom of expression on TikTok reflects the same American values that make the United States a beacon of freedom. TikTok gives everyday Americans a powerful way to be seen and heard. And that's why so many people have made TikTok part of their daily lives. Rest assured, we aren't going anywhere. We are confident and we will keep fighting for your rights in the courts. The facts and the constitution are on our side and we expect to prevail again. Our community- You seen a senator straight up explain that it's because of Palestine for him? Oh my God. It's filled with people who have found acceptance and compassion, offered inspiration and encouragement, increased their awareness and brought into perspectives, ultimately adding more delight and joy to their lives. Our community is also filled with 7 million business owners who have built their livelihoods on TikTok. While we make our case in court, you'll still be able to enjoy TikTok like you always have. In fact, if you have a story about how TikTok impacts your life, we'll love for you to share it to showcase exactly what we're fighting for. So I will say this on one hand, um, I wouldn't say uh, excited is definitely the wrong word, but I'm, I'm just interested to see how the landscape's going to play out if TikTok slash when TikTok does go away. How, you know, how it'll affect short form content creation. Because I do think... The adjustments have been made, right? Like insta like TikTok came out of nowhere, flooded everyone's mind, uh, became a staple within the social media industry. Everyone saw it was a working formula. And as business goes, unless you got uh patents on that shit, everyone's about to steal that shit. So, you know, Instagram came along, YouTube Shorts came along, Facebook came along, Twitter got their own version now, Snapchat got their own version now. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Twi Twitch got its own version. Now, I see. I seen that in a recent update. I don't know if they took it away. TikTok has made a a, a permanent, permanent. Uh, TikTok has made a permanent step in the game. I guess I don't. I don't know. I'm I'm blanking out on the word that you just cannot take away. Short form content is here to stay. Vertical content is here to stay. You know what I'm saying? So I'm definitely interested on like what the fuck is gonna happen if they go away. Slash when they go away. Um, is is short form content gonna die out a little bit? Um, is someone is there gonna be a platform? Are are we gonna just migrate to a new platform? Number one, or number two, is just all that it's cause that attention gotta go somewhere. Is that attention gonna go to YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Facebook, all just kind of equally dispersed out? You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm definitely interested to see how that plays out. Or is one platform gonna have the leg up over the other? Because I feel like if TikTok goes away, the parallels between TikTok and Instagram, I feel like a lot of motherfuckers would just migrate to Instagram if, if that's the case. Maybe I'm wrong, though. I don't know. Um, but when it comes to the ban, when it comes to the ban, first of all, so many things motherfuckers complain about in this country. But the quickness that this government went to ban TikTok as soon as possible. My God, round of applause and sad trombone at the same time. It's, it's both impressive and sad at the same time. How out of all the issues that from both sides of the fence people debate on, y'all are so quick to ban TikTok. Um... And also, I think, um, 
you know, like a, a whole generation decided TikTok is their home platform. Not only that, but I would even go as far as to say that a lot of creators have chosen TikTok to be their home platform. And the question when TikTok first came around was, yo, is TikTok here to stay? Is it just a fad? Is it just a trend that's about to go away in, in, in a year or two, like Vine or like Be Real or I don't I don't know, musically even. I know musically turned into TikTok, but you get what I'm saying. Is it just a fad or is it here to stay? I think they answered that question. They are here to stay. It is extremely hard to get rid of a short form, a, a platform specifically just for vertical content. Instagram has tried to implement it within the Instagram ecosystem. YouTube has tried to implement it within their system. But just like how motherfuckers love Twitch because Twitch is a platform just for live streaming, TikTok is just a platform for vertical short form content. It's hard to get rid of that. Um, so they figured that out. The second question was for creators, is this a platform that we can continue creating on from a monetary perspective? Right. Because the not the beta program, the creator fund that they had was definitely not enough to fund motherfuckers. So they switched to the beta program. And in the beta program, I've experienced it myself. It well, it's hard to get a one million view video. But let me tell you right now with the beta program, it is realistic to make a lot of money off of direct TikTok monetization. Now, you can get brand deals off of TikToks. That's been a thing for the last couple of years. Right. Um, and also with TikTok, with how much attention you get, you can even, because of how much attention you can get, um, and how fast you can get it as well, you can, you know, grow a Twitch with that, with that attention. You can grow an Instagram, you can grow anything you want with that following, right? Um, and for the most part, a lot of people would argue it still be, it would still be the easiest platform to grow on. So they answered all the questions. And for the only reason for this platform to be taken away from people. From business owners, small business owners that rely on the shit, people that rely on the shit to pay bills, who have who who have made lifestyles off of creating content because while everyone got YouTube, everyone got Twitch, they just decided TikTok is what works for them and their content. For that to be stripped away because of the government is crazy. And their logic being this week is crazy as fuck. I think it's unfair. I think I think TikTok is actually going to get banned. And even if they do have to sell, it's not going to be the same platform, in my opinion. It's not going to be the same platform that we all know right now. The same way Twitter changed under Elon is going to be the same shit, dog. It's going to be the same shit. And it's about to be ass if slash when that day happens. For real, for real. That's going to be ass.